Hey guys, in today's video, I'm just going to be talking about Overlook RP for 2022. I really want to say Overlook um, base so bad, but I know it's not called that anymore, so I don't really know what I'm gonna do. Overlook RP. Okay, so today I'm just gonna be talking about the game. Um, as we know, we just had an update for the junkyard, which is all the way over here, and I wanted to make a video that one night, but then I was kind of like tired from work, so I did like some YouTube shorts. Guys, one of those shorts got 1.6 thousand views, which is kind of crazy. Um, so thank you for that. That means a lot. Um, in that short, I didn't explain that you can get this item right here, which you can get by spinning this wheel and it takes a hundred little junk pieces to spin. Is that what it's called or no? I don't, I don't know. You get these junk pieces from, as far as I know, you can get those from making wishes at the wishing well, but you can probably get those through other things. Like for example, you can turn in some junk. So here for junk talk, welcome to the junkyard. What can I do for ya? Um, so I don't know if I want to scrap anything just because a lot of these items you, I don't think you can get these anymore. Um, but I do have one item that I probably can which scrap, which is just like the basic skateboard. I don't really care for a basic a basic skateboard, so let's go ahead and exchange that. Are you sure you want to exchange your selected vehicles for 10 scrap metal? Oh, that's what it's called! Scrap metal. Okay, yes, let's do yes. Um, does it do anything? Do you... Oh, it doesn't do anything. Okay, let's see if it does anything different when we go to this area. So let's do that again. Oh, wait. No, I didn't mean to cancel that. Oh my gosh, I hit the wrong button. Okay, let's do this again. <laughs> Exchange. Okay, let's try this. Does it do anything? Oh no, there, it doesn't do anything. I thought there would be like a little animations thing. Maybe in the future there'll be something like that, but that'd be really cool to see. Okay, let's go ahead and spin this a few times just so that you guys can get an idea of like what you can get. So there's a bunch of those emeralds. I still want to say gems. Um, That one looks like there's a lot. Okay, so we got 50 emeralds, which is not bad. You can get wishes. You can also get like a little prize. And there's also that little death animation, which I do not like getting. So that's pretty cool. Luckily, I was able to win this yesterday. I don't know. I was just playing randomly and spinning that wheel to see what I can get. And I actually got one of those things. Is it called the scrap junk? Junk bike? Is it junk bike? I don't know what's called. Oh yeah, here it is. Oh, makeshift junk bike. Okay, that's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. This isn't really my go-to vehicle that I would want to use. It's it's cool, but it's not really my go-to. My go-to is this uh, hoverboard right here from the Halloween update. So that's a little bit about the junkyard update. There's other things that I noticed with uh, Weatherworks in general, like they've been uploading a lot of their thumbnails to the games of like old updates, if that makes sense. Like they they don't update the game, but they update the thumbnail to the certain holiday. Um, I've seen this today. Somebody pointed this out on Twitter. I think it was Lifey and he pointed out that Trader updated their thumbnail to like a Valentine's Day theme, but there's no actual update to the game, which they, I don't think they've updated in a very long time. Okay, so there's another thing that I want to show you guys that I noticed. Um, I tweeted this on Twitter too. And I noticed something and when you, before you play Overlook Bay, you come across this page of like thumbnails and pictures and like the play button. But guys, look at this. Design a home and build a family. Okay, so there's the mom, there's the dad, and there's a little baby. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is one of the thumbnails that I saw. Okay, so here's a tweet that I uh, tweeted the other day, and I think this one shows a mobile. For some reason, it doesn't show on desktop, but look at this. Why Why does the pet have a pacifier? And the mom's literally, like, stressing out, and there's literally, like, a baby right here. Um, 
the next picture I kind of just like zoomed in further to the baby and I want to show you guys what some people said on Twitter so Ellie Corn Princess says that there's children or is asking that there's gonna be ch children so there probably is um, Darb says, I hope we get baby NPC because I don't want real people as babies. I know, I know, same. I like NPCs better than actual people when it comes to like role playing and stuff like that just because it's fun. Um, Lifey says he wants to steal everybody's babies and have a massive family. So, um, if you come across your child missing or something or being abducted, it's probably Lifey who is, you know, stealing your children. So, um, do what Calmingo says, guys. Call 911. <laughs> um, what else is um, everyone else say? OMG, they're taking this way too far. This is what just a Robloxian 3 says. They're taking it way too far. Um, in a way, yes, I think they are. But at the same time, uh, this is something I kind of did want to see uh, earlier last year was like family updates and possibly like kids and stuff. I had no clue that would be coming to Overlook Bay when it was that time, like the old Overlook Bay. I had no idea this was even going to be a possibility. So that's pretty cool. Let me know what you guys think in the comments of the NPC babies coming or like role playing and stuff and like families. Um, I want to know what you guys think in the comments. I am truly excited to see what comes to Overlook Bay and I still need some time to kind of get over the changes and stuff and there's something that somebody said in my last video. I think they said you can hear the disappointment in Liz Lizzie's voice. And guys, you don't know me so well. Like, I don't mean to ever be disappointed when it comes to, like, doing game updates because I want to be excited. I want you guys to be excited with me as well. But when you know that there's certain things that don't make sense, that don't add up, that don't really excite you, maybe they're not okay. I don't know how to say that in a video. Like, I want to be honest with my opinions, opinions and stuff. But then again, it's like... You know, I, I want to be nice about it, but I don't know how, you know what I mean? I'll be honest that I kind of was disappointed and for the longest time, I've always been so excited for every Overlook Bay update and you guys know this too, like you guys have seen it in my live streams, my videos and everything and then all of a sudden they change everything. It's like, whoa, this is not the Overlook Bay that I know, you know what I mean? So. Again, it's going to take some time to get used to and, you know, this goes for everybody, but hopefully in the future um, updates will make up for those feelings. So that is pretty much it for this short kind of little video um, going over the Junkyard update a little bit more in depth since I wasn't able to in those YouTube shorts. And some of my thoughts for things that are coming up, um, obviously this is not for the full year of 2022, but from what we've seen in like little sneak peeks and like hidden gems is that kids might be a thing in Overlook Bay. So let me know what you guys think in the comments about babies and families. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you aren't already a donut. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!